Uh, the Bible says the Lord can come to us in dreams. I haven't found where Satan or his minions can come to us in dreams. Is there somewhere in the Bible that suggests the devil can enter our dreams? Yes. Book of Job, uh, chapter 4, I believe it is. Let me look here real quick. Yeah, Job chapter 4. Uh, in verse 12, this is Eliphaz. Uh, remember, Job uh, was a godly guy. Um, he... Uh, had been bragged on by the Lord. Uh, Satan said, the reason he's following you is because you never let me touch him. Let me touch his stuff. He'll curse you to your face. And then second time, let me touch his body. He'll curse you to your face. And God allows both. And Job walks in integrity. And then he, uh, he is sick. And he's sitting there sick and uh, mourning for seven days. And three of his friends are sitting there with him. And then Job begins talking. And he's bummed out. And when he begins talking, they just, they just jump on him and start basically slamming the guy. First guy who talks is in chapter 4, besides Job. And he's Eliphaz, and he says this in verse 12. Now, a word was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a whisper of it in disquieting thoughts from the visions of the night. When deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair on my body stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes. There was silence. Then I heard a voice saying, Can a mortal be more righteous than God? Can a man be more pure than his maker? If he puts no trust in his servants, if he charges his angels with error, so this is an angel that has a problem, right? Um, how much more... Those who dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before a moth, they're broken in pieces from morning till evening, they perish forever with no one regarding, does not their own excellence go away, they die even without wisdom. And so uh, Eliphaz has this dream that is specifically pointed at Job coming from an angelic being that has a problem with being charged with error. And so that's a fallen angel. And so you have it flat out in the Bible. You also have it referenced again in uh, Job chapter 14. Let's see. Uh, oh, let's see. No, that's, that's I, I got a wrong reference there. 14, 1 through 4. Let me see. I just read Job not too long ago. You know the word you're looking for? Uh... No, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, uh, I, I believe it's Eliphaz. Um, he, he refers to that twice in the book of Job, but the main one is in chapter 4. So, yeah, uh, you have examples of uh, uh, demons giving visions in a dream. And uh, obviously you have that with, with uh, non-believing prophets. Um, they're, getting, they're getting their information from some source, and it's satanic. So the spiritual realm... I mean, weird to us because we don't um, obviously have the ability to operate in that like angels do. But uh, when you when you sh when you see them revealing themselves, they can look like a man. Mm -hmm. uh, their description in the Old Testament are, are beast-like with eyes all over and different things. But then they're able to like uh, disappear in front of us or, or be some how hidden. You know, they, they're multidimensional, mm -hmm. so they have all that stuff going on. But then when you're talking about the thought life and the area of the mind where spiritual things happened, the idea of Satan being able to come in there and read your thoughts and mess with you, which is primarily what, you know, the spiritual battle is, it's in the mind, and he's messing right. with you in the mind, is kind of a weird thing to consider. Right. But it's certainly true as far as the spiritual uh, yeah. realm goes. And this is obvious. You know, the, the Bible says that, we're to, you know, when, when Satan attacks us, we're, we're to submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from us, and then draw near to God, and he'll draw near to us. And so that has to be taking place in the area of the mind. Because mm. I, I don't know anybody that's seen Satan. And I've, I, you know, I've had people who've, who've said that they've seen demons and, and that kind of thing, and, and those are pretty few and far between. But most times when we're resisting the devil... We're, it's in the area of our mind. It's not anywhere else. And, and so it's in the area of the mind that he's going to flee. The Bible says that the God of this age has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. 
And so, you know, Satan obviously works in the area of the mind. Mm. And yeah, you're right. It's, it's kind of weird to think about. Um, uh, if you've never read uh, the Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, it, it is something that every Christian should be reading. You know, you, every, every Christian should uh, go through and, and check out that book because it is just eye-opening as far as how Satan likes to deal with people. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing I was going to say is working in corrections for a long time, you see people on drugs, and it's always affecting the area of the mind. Yep. Almost every single person that's on a trip is seeing demons hallucinating with some kind of demonic activity. They're always screaming Jesus. And right. they're, they're never seeing flowers. Never. And, yeah. They're always you know, seeing and, demonic. Uh, but it's weird because in, in the Bible it connects pharmakeia with the de- demonic realm right. and stuff. And yeah. it's something like they open up that spiritual realm and Satan's able to jump in their mind. And it's scary watching them. And, and then when they come off of it, like they, you talk to them and they have visual dis- or, or uh, audible, not audible, descriptions of what they saw visually right and it's something's yeah. connected there yeah and so when you you know that's that's always been the thing with that it's like when, when people uh have a trip like that they're you know they're they're never seeing flowers and mm-hmm. and you know pretty animals and you know, <laughs> sunsets and, you know, it's never that yeah it's always crazy stuff yeah and you know satan is just an opportunist he'll he'll use whatever he can uh, to get influence over people or to torment them, frankly. And so, obviously, drug use is one of those areas where he's got an open door. And I've never once heard anyone cry out Buddha or Joseph yeah. Smith or anything, but they always yelled for Jesus. 